I can't go two days without finding another goddamn flaw in my fucking Skyrim build. What's up guys, this is Zero to Mikitsune, and today I'm going to show you a particular bug I found in Race Menu Body Gen, and two ways to fix it. Now, when you first load your game, any armor that has been morphed by the Body Gen system has a chance to show up with no textures. Now, the easy solution to this is simply to unequip and re-equip your armor. And there you go. Now, that only works for the player. For NPCs, you have to disable and enable them. So that's not really a feasible thing, as you have to do it every time you see an NPC with this problem. Granted, that fix lasts for the entire play session, but only for that play session. Now I'm going to show you a better fix and a more solid fix to this entire problem. Now, credit for this fix goes to TC Fixes UUMP HDT Skyrim Clothes with Body Slide, as that's where I discovered this in their comment section. And he says credit to Zolan from Lover's Lab. Now, this issue comes from the NIF file inside of Body Slide, which lacks consistency flags. Now, I'm going to show you how to apply those. Now as you can see here, we are inside the folder for our particular body slide set, Skyrim Enhanced High Poly UUMP Body Slide, and we go through the Caliente Tools folder, into Shape Data, and then into the particular armor that you want to correct. Now ours was the Scald Armor, which annoyingly enough is inside the Hide Arm folder, so it kind of hides from you. Go to Cure cross heavy, probably pronouncing that wrong, and then open it with NIS scope. As you can see here, this is our armor, and the particular areas we need to change are right here. NIF tri shape data, and NIF tri shape data. Simply scroll down to you see consistency flags. You see how this is CT mutable. That is what you want, so this one's already correct. This one though says CT static. You have to double click on it, switch it to mutable, and that is it. Proceed to save, rebuild, making sure race menu morph is selected, and now we load back into the game. And there you have it. It is now fixed permanently for all characters to use. We can go through these sliders, manipulate them any way we want, and everything's still good. And for the final test, we transport to Whiterun, as one of the earliest ways you detect this problem is with Rhea as they are fighting the giant. You will see her inside of a untextured scald armor and you'll see Ale with like half her body missing because you know that's weird but now you know the cause of the problem and now you know how to fix them you can see they are fighting over there Rhea's armor is corrupted and Ale is naked Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.